Happy New Year. Happy New Year. God's children. When the calendar is blank, its days unplanned, like an empty piggy bank just waiting to be richly filled, remember you are blessed, and we are thrilled to share this life for which our God we so the grace, mercy, and peace of God our Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight days of milk, seven swans of spinning, six geese of wagging, five. Four birds, three French hens, two turtle dogs, and a So it seems that from maids of milk and to partridges in a pear tree, this eighth day of Christmas has something for women and forests. It was shortly before. A new year dawned that Barbara Walters was announced to be at rest. Folks who have received their news from women are used to and give thanks for the work of Barbara Walters, the first woman to anchor primetime American news, the first time the troubled voices were trusted to speak true things to us. Barbara Walters got in a little bit of uh, heat, what, some 40-ish years ago, for asking Catherine Hepburn what kind of tree Catherine might be. I can only imagine that Catherine Hepburn is smiling by Barbara Walters today. Because I'm pretty sure that Barbara Walters closed her eyes on this mortal life of journalism so that she could be the first through the pearly gates to interview Pope Benedict XVI when he walked into that resurrection hall. And while we're down here singing about maids of milk and partridges in a pear tree, can't we imagine? A woman like Barbara Walter saying to a Christian like Pope Benedict, Now, what kind of tree would you be? And Pope Benedict points to the only tree that matters when we are people gathered around hope and faith and new beginnings, not only new years on our but a new future in safety as God's risen people. That's what this eighth day of Christmas is all about. Pointing to the one who will keep us safe by name when everything else falls apart and we don't make it into the new year that we thought was just within our reach. We listen to treble voices. We listen to Mary, mother of our Lord, who saw the birth of Christ firsthand in all of its intimacy. How she pondered that miracle in her heart and waited for the right time to share it as good news, tidings of great joy for all people. We think of treble voices like Mary Magdalene, who first met her Lord in the garden on an Easter morning, when she couldn't recognize who the guy was. But when she heard his voice and could speak his name, she knew that whether he's coming out of a manger or coming out of a tomb, the one that we meet in Jesus is the one who is opening a future for us 
where we can leave the deadwood trees to be the kind of people who flower with new life, like spring blossoms in the middle of the day. It's a good day to ask questions. We might consider that the shepherds when running around telling everybody what they had heard and what they had seen. But did you notice in the gospel who never had a name? When people asked that first logical follow-up question, dear, dear shepherd, you are telling me about the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior, a baby born in the city of David. Can you tell me his name? Can you tell me who this God made flesh is? Can you tell me how I too might talk with Emmanuel? The shepherds never thought to ask. The shepherds were eight days too early for the naming of Jesus. But when all was said and done, when everyone went home from their great Christmas miracle last weekend, when everyone started packing up their decorations for another year, when everyone was still sleepy in bed after smiling so much to be with family and friends after history of the pandemic, there was a small group that gathered eight days after Jesus was born to hear that very name spoken aloud the first time. Mary, in the treble voice of good news, reported to the world. Nine months ago, when the angel Gabriel came and turned my world upside down, I received a message from heaven that this baby would have this name. And Joseph pipes in saying, it's been in my dreams. For the angel of the Lord said, don't be afraid. Don't, don't fear to be a part of this family because this child will have this name. And together they whispered, here is Jesus. Now Barbara Walters were there for the actual naming on the eighth day of Christmas. No doubt she would have said, now, what significance does this name have? Where does it come from? And, and a well-meaning person in the back would be on their phone, the baby they means. Until we landed on Jesus. And we read that heaven has given our little Lord the name. God will save these people from their sin. It's no longer the miracle of what happened in Christmas Eve. It's now the miracle of who do we meet. And this God who is reported to heal us from our disease, cure us from our fear, lift us up from our bed. Now we are gathering around Jesus who will be passed from arm to arm to be cradled in our lives so that we might see the baby smile and hope that there's future for us. We might look at his little wooden manger and start to learn our answer when people ask us what kind of tree defines our life. We're going to be people of Jesus. We're going to be people where God dwells among us to save us from our sins and keep us safe in a world of so much brokenness. We're going to be people who chase each other as fast as we can into the pearly gates to see the wonder of resurrection with clear and open eyes. When all of our earthly questions start to feel a little silly. And the one who is born, a little Lord Jesus, stands before us with the open arms who say, Now you are home. 
and now your voices will report the good news. And now you will be the ones who go out and share with the world as we long to know. That after so many goodbyes have been said in the past, and as a new year unfolds in a world that will already record the history, illness, and famine, and war, Jesus is here. The one that we don't interview, but the one we engage in prayer. The one who answers our prayers by saying, I have a name for you. As much as I have come to make you safe, you are now born anew in my heart and God's eyes that you might be called beloved, in whom the Lord is well pleased, who might close your eyes but only ever to open them on the surprise more than a new year, but a new beginning for safety together, world without it. This is the name of Jesus. Yeah.